So this is video number three in what I wish I had known about uh, making movies before I made my first movie. And this one it has to do with uh, lighting um, somewhat, but also, I guess, more specifically um, color correction or color grading um, in relation to the lighting. What I'm about to talk about in this video, I think, is, is, uh, has to do with a problem that I am seeing on um, major, major pictures um, uh, or TV shows. I mean, things like Game of Thrones, Willow, um, everything becoming uh, so dark and you can hardly see what's happening. And I think I've figured out the solution. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So I guess I assumed I was going to be able to do a lot more in the color grade, um, in the color correction, as I was thinking about it um, afterwards, than I was really able to do. Now, part of the reason for that is because I ended up being the one who did the color grading. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have any experience beforehand, um, and so I'm sure there are, are uh, people who can accomplish way more than what I accomplished, and certainly if a person has the budget, I mean, gosh, you can probably change just about anything you want, um, uh, and change your background, change all kinds of stuff, but <clears throat> if you're making a micro-budget movie, obviously that is not... Uh, what's going on you do have a limited budget and you're not going to be able to do whatever you want when it comes to how you should think about your color grade and how in relation to your lighting uh, that is uh, don't think about necessarily um, colors I mean you can think about colors uh, when it comes to your set design and your art department and all that stuff, um, which in a micro budget movie is going to be most likely you as the director thinking about the costumes, all that kind of things. But what I'm saying is um, when you're when you're setting up your shot and you're setting up your lighting, don't necessarily think about the colors you're seeing. Think about the contrast that you're think you're seeing. Think about it in black and white. Do you have uh, something that's highlighted? Do you have things that are in shadow that you want them to be in shadow? Uh, can you see what you want to see? And can you not see what you don't want to see? I guess that's a one way to say about it. If you were thinking about um, a noir, and I like that sort of noir look where um, you have a strong key light, you don't have fill lights, um, you have strong... Uh, contrast. Um, I like that. I want that as much as possible, but I also like natural lighting. So I'm not going to always get that uh, noir uh, look. But anyways, I'll just show you some examples of what I'm talking about. Okay, so in this image, um, uh, you weren't really supposed to see the background. Um, the focus is just supposed to be on um, uh, Evie, the, the main character here, um, and even, even the, the warlord in the background is supposed to be pretty much in the shadows. We want to be able to see the gun, um, so we need a little bit of a highlight on that gun, but we really don't want to see much of the, of the, of the warlord. Um, we just want to really be focused on Evie's face, okay? Now, why is there so much light? It's the light we had in the room, and I thought it was going to be easy just to sort of darken up the background and keep the light on the main subject. Um, it wasn't. So what we should have done, turn off the lights, get the background dark the way I wanted it to, and then just have a, a, a light closer to her that's that key light lighting that main uh, character. Okay, so here's an image where um, uh, the original scene was shot on a, on a cloudy, rainy day, but we're having it to get some pickup shots where we get some, some close-ups. The biggest problem here is that we have some really bright light on the main actor's uh, shoulder and his hair. Again, I just didn't, you know, it's like, oh, that's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, it is definitely a big deal. <laughs> I should have definitely taken the time to get, a, um, to get something to block that sun to put him in shadow completely so there's no... Um, sun directly on him. The main point again is to think about contrast. 
okay? Um, what is the background like? Light, dark, uh, what's the, the light as it's hitting the face and the shadows of the face? Think, of, think again, like I said, think in black and white. If you get your light and your shadow, your highlights and your, your uh, low lights, if you get those where you want them to be, then doing your final color grading is gonna be a whole lot easier to do. And if you're gonna have a scene that's really dark, maybe it's a night scene, like for example, this scene from Willow, there's a lot that can be dark, but there has to be highlights. If there are no highlights, especially if you're shooting like night for day, if you have no highlights and then you darken everything, you won't be able to see anything. But if you have highlights, something that's even a little overexposed, then when you darken it down, those highlights will jump out. And even on a really dark screen, people will still be able to see where your characters are. They'll still be able to see how they're moving. They'll still be able to see what's going on if you at least have some highlights uh, in your image. So, hopefully that's helpful.